In this session we'll be talking about menu 8 which is the telephone account setup and menu 9 which is the area reporting codes. These are located in the installer programming area. First of all to get into the installer programming area we will press the ELK key then 9 then enter the right key and then the installer programming code which the default code is 172839 that takes us into the installer programming level and we'll go to menu 8 in this case we can use the up or down arrow I'll type in 08 that'll take us to the telephone account setup and hit the right arrow to enter that and now we have a choice of selecting one of the, uh, the telephone numbers here in the case of the uh, the M1 standard or the Oak uh, M1 we have four regular phone numbers and then one number for Elk RP remote programming software. In in the case of this uh, control we're working with now, which is the Elk M1 Gold, we have eight regular telephone numbers plus one for Elk RP. So we'll first start programming telephone one here, and I'll enter the right arrow key to enter into that. And the first option is for the format. Uh, if we move the cursor over under the, the format here, we'll see that uh, uh, it is currently set to a zero, which means it's disabled. If we go up, uh, a one means it's contact ID. The next option is SIA format. The next option is a pulse, which is a four digit account code and, and two digit uh, event code. The next is the pager or DTMF output going to a pager. And in this case, uh, that's all the options we have to choose from here. If we're going to select a, a voice um, transmission or voice message, it would set that up through the LCRP. So here we'll, we'll select uh, contact ID as our, uh, our transmit, transmission format to the central station. I hit the left arrow so the cursor goes back under our uh, option selector here and the next option up is either always report and I'll move the cursor over here and the next option would be if it wasn't on telephone one it would be to back up uh, the previous telephone number but in this case being we're on telephone number one uh, it cannot be a backup number for another telephone number. If we was on telephone number two, then we would have an option to select here uh, for that telephone number to be a backup telephone number. But in this case, the system will not allow us to do that. So we'll go up to the next uh, selection option. And this is actually where we put in the telephone number to dial. We hit the right arrow key, and that moves the cursor over to enter the number. So uh, as we press our numbers, I'll just put in some numbers here. We can go up to 20 digits on the numbers. Now there's also some special characters that we, we can choose from here. Uh, one of them being a, a comma, which is a two second delay, a right slash, which is a 125 millisecond uh, delay, and then there's the pound and star for touchstone dialing, as well as the A, B, C, and D characters of uh, touchstone dialing. To get into that mode we press the up arrow and then um, for instance the the one key will allow us to put in different characters here. As you can see they'll, they'll cycle through like one comma pound star and then a right slash. Now we can move over to put in another special character. We'll do the two key. Be two and uh, in this case we got to repress the up arrow to uh, to get it into that special mode. Here as you can see it goes 2, A, B, and C. And it starts back again. Move over again and press the up arrow. Then the 3 key will do 3 and D. So that's how we get the, uh, the special uh, characters in there. When we're finished we can press the down arrow and uh, then move over and uh, put in more 
digits to be dialed here. Like I say, we can go up to um, 20 digits to be dialed. And when we're finished, just hit the L key, and that'll bring us back to our selection here. Go to the next option on the selection, and uh, the number of dial attempts that we will dial out, uh, or number of attempts to dial. If we have a zero here, the system will not dial. So we'll go over. And normally, we put in like eight dial attempts. Uh, in this case, we can go up to 15 attempts. So now we'll back up to our option selector again and go to the next option. And this is the uh, account number for area one. Uh, and we move over into that selection here. This is a six digit uh, account number that will be transmitted if we uh, are dialing into the telephone uh, central station for area number one. So we'll put one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, for instance, if um, the system uh, only had a four-digit account number, then we have to precede that with zeros. So zero, zero, one, two, three, four. So you must always put in six digits here, uh, with the first digits being zeros if the uh, account number is less than six digits. So we hit the L key and back up to our selector here and move up to the next uh, option here and it is uh, area 2 account number so we would put that in exactly the same way and this takes us on up through all eight areas if you, as you see here as we move it up. They're all programmed exactly the same way. And we'll move up to, uh, that's for area 8 and then uh, option number 13 this yes or no option identifies whether the telephone number should report miscellaneous options from the area reporting codes menu, zone alarms, restores, and unbypasses from the zone reporting codes menu, and keypad alarms from the keypad F key reporting codes menu. So to change this, we we'll press the right arrow key and then uh, the 1 button will change it to a yes, the 0 to a no, or any key 2 through 9 will toggle it on and off. So uh, I will go back under the selector with the, the menu and go to the next option. This is uh, option number 14. And this yes or no option identifies whether this telephone number should report the zone bypasses from the zone reporting codes menu. And here again, it, it's changed the same way. Uh, it's just a yes or no answer here. And we, with 2 through 9, we can toggle it on and off like the previous example. I'll move the cursor back and go to the next option. And option number 15, which is zone troubles. And this yes or no option identifies whether this telephone number should report the zone troubles from the zone reporting codes menu. Our next option here is uh, number 16, and uh, this yes or no option identifies whether this telephone number should report the user opening and closing codes from the user reporting codes menu. And it's set the same way as previously, it's a yes or no answer. And option number 17. This yes or no option identifies whether the telephone number should report the global system event codes from the system report options and codes menu. And these, uh, these menus we'll discuss uh, in some of the, uh, the later tutorials here. Our next option is to name the telephone number. And to do this, with, as it shows here, we press the left arrow and then we can uh, put in uh, our name. So we move over and uh, say ABC. If we want a lowercase we press the down arrow and then we can enter lowercase. To go back to uppercase we press the up arrow and as you can see it goes to the up arrow. And we're finished when we're finished here uh, we press the uh, the elk button. Move